Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. I'm still wearing my mask because of the hay fever, allergy. This is the uh, time where all the seeds are released, also the pollens. The uh, mango is in flower. So let's see what comes from that. We are in nature. We have no wish to change it. We just have a wish to work with it. Do we always know what that means? No. Here is a citrus, a tangerine. And it turned yellow. This is the fourth one I planted. All the others turned yellow and died. Then I gave it a uh, some feed. I just bought a bottle of uh, concentration for house plants and I mixed it with water and now we have some green leaves and uh, I fed all the other trees next to it as well and they all look better so uh, this general fertilizer did something and it appears it might be a uh, an iron deficiency the uh, reasons for an iron deficiency in our case might be or the main reason might be the high uh, ph of the soil alkalinity very very high calcium content and uh, it can also be of overwatering or underwatering or excess of copper or zinc or phosphorus or very cold nights which which we actually don't have so i am stuck on this high alkalinity and for that same reason our emitters clog from the calcium that's why we have some uh, spaghetti extensions to them to avoid any other buildup of organic material in the system it's also easier for us to observe what is happening especially with the mulch we have here we have our pump from the cistern I'm still busy with it because it must be in the soil and not on the soil there's a lot of movement in the pipe is called water hammering pump hammering especially when you switch off the pump is an effect that draws the pipe downhill and also i bought some nitric acid and then also a dosing pump which is not installed yet because I first had to find out what and where and when it's impossible to get answers and uh, the big thing is I learned that the 
point of injection should come from the top and not from the side and then also because it's a, a, an acid it does influence the pump so if it's further away from the pump it's actually better and then I had to find the person that knows about this to help me and uh, the one I found was the local municipal swimming pool caretaker he has four of these kinds of things in his system so at least I'm talking to an experienced person now hopefully this will lower the pH in the soil and it will also provide nitrogen and also uh, hopefully it will keep the emitters clean and then I can perhaps terminate this project here what a learning curve what a field that I don't know anything about another topic the sisters hara brush we have on the farm perhaps half of the farm um, an interesting plant they reproduce through apomoxis uh, that is an asexual reproduction making seeds without the need of producing flowers um, so whatever drought or enough rain they reproduce so it's a lot of them and then uh, Steve the plant doctor sent me some valuable information about a study in the neighboring state where uh, extra Madura where they researched the university researched these uh, toxicity and uh, of these plants and they are even practicing auto toxicity and uh, it is it is it looks like because they produce so many seeds they can actually control the development of other seeds of other plants but also of their own seeds depending on the conditions this sister's brush I just like my polovnias over there change in color is regarded as a monoculture uh, plant because it's the only thing that's growing where it is and uh, it might even inhibit the development and growth of these sisters <laughs> these uh, home oaks and uh, this monoculture have various influences soil degradation erosion there's no other cover crop and uh, a lot of compaction because uh, the animals walk aimlessly between it to find something to eat and uh, it depletes the nutrients because it's just extracting the same thing over and over and over
this cystus it opens up it's the area to uh, invader species like the wood sorrel the clover oxalis because nothing else can grow there quite an overcast day we had five drops of rain which feels very strange but uh, this is the side of the road beautiful sight this wild oats I like it I've been clearing about three meters from the fence line just cutting down whatever was growing there but uh, difficult because there are many of these saplings of the oak so I have to cut it quite high another thing that occupies my thoughts is the erosion now this is a rehabilitated erosion gully and uh, it looks quite promising there was quite some moisture because we filled it with lots of organic material and then soil on top of it I finally came to my senses to install a drip irrigation here on the vetiver about 50 plants here instead of watering it with this blue hose pipe so good for me the first dam I built is empty not completely dry but this is what this whole gully used to look like now this is the culvert under the road this is an amazing device that accelerates the speed of the water and decreases the pressure the water exerts but uh, accelerating water or fast moving water really erodes well and uh, we have inherited this and the idea now is to have a small pond here up to that gabion uh, slow down the water and then take it into three different directions the farm has some stripes of greenness that's all on the swales or where we worked and that makes us happy that we could extend the green period deeper into summer Till next time, goodbye.